Welcome to Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2's Midterm 1 Practice Problems, and this is the last problem, part 3 of problem 8. We're supposed to briefly explain why a lower bound on the number of iterations of the, of the algorithm above, so of, of the algorithm's loop, this would mean, also gives a lower bound on the size of the independent set in the input graph. So we're supposed to say, uh, while lower bounding the number of iterations, which we've done, lower bounds the size of the independent set as well. And uh, I mean, if, if this is a correct algorithm, let's, let's jump back up to the algorithm here. So here's the algorithm. If this is a correct algorithm to find an independent set, and it's going to run at least n over 1 plus d max iterations, and it's going to add a node to the independent set each time. It adds a node to the solution each time. That's another measure of progress. Not only do we remove at least one node each time, but we add at least one node to the independent set. So the size of the independent set that we've computed grows by one for every iteration. And there are at least n over 1 plus d max iterations, which means that the size of the independent set is at least n over 1 plus d max. We should justify that we really do find an independent set here. But notice that whenever we put a node into the solution, the very next thing we do is ensure that we never consider that node or any nodes that are adjacent to it uh, to be added to the solution in the future. And an independent set is a set of nodes that are not adjacent to each other in a particular graph. So we are ensuring that we will never add two nodes that are adjacent to each other, which means the thing we come up with is an independent set. It's not necessarily the best independent set by some measure of best, where in this particular case, our measure of best is the maximum size independent set usually. So it's not necessarily the maximum size independent set, but it is an independent set, and therefore it's a lower bound on the size of that maximum independent set that we might be looking for. So let's go back to this problem again. So it says, explain why a lower bound on the number of iterations of the algorithm, the loop above, also gives a lower bound on the size of the independent set in the input graph. This, this has got to be asking really about the size of the maximum independent set. If that's what it's asking about, then yeah, we have a lower bound. Because anytime we've got one item in a set and we're taking the maximum over that set, any one of those items is a lower bound on the maximum over the set of items. So really what's happening here is the algorithm gives an independent set, not necessarily the maximum, its size is equal to the number of iterations because one element is added to the solution on each iteration. So the number of iterations is a lower bound on the size of the maximum independent set. And that completes our practice exam. That's great. All right, I'll miss you everyone. See you in class.